Happy New Comics to everybody. You already know what time it is. New comic day, new books on the shelves. I'm back at the shop. I'm on Christmas vacation right now. So I already just pulled up at the shop. Time to mask up, as you do. This is the other Marvel mask I was talking about that I saw at Wally World. I went back to pick it up. The second one was a all black one, so that always works. All black everything, I'm down with it. So yeah, uh, let's go in the shop and we're gonna take you along for a little bit of shopping footage. Pick up a lot of stuff here. Let's head inside. And here we are. Got my stack already. Got some stuff, new stuff out today. Let's see, King in Black. I think I might jump onto this. Where it is? Got Iron Man Doom. Gotta take one of those. And then all the variants for King in Black 2. I like that one. Look. Us ahead. This one as well. Give you a better look. Without the glare. So I don't know. Either this one or that one. Still deciding. And then there's number one. I grab one of those. There's like four copies of those I want. What else do I need? He's made Spider Man 55. That cool one, Pat Gleason. Black Adam in this winter. Okay, that. That's a nice cover. Black Adam. Let's see. Got Joshua Middleton and Wonder Woman 769. Got the Justice League 58 that I missed. Here's 29. I think I have that one coming. I might end up getting that one. It's a Catwoman. See. What else we got here? There's a new title, picture of everything else. Got that pre ordered. The cool Mr. Miracle cover. What else? I need to look that one up. I don't know what book that is. Alright, just left the shop and. Oh, another successful trip. Do you have to bring a box? Even though we offer is like, hey, you can take, go ahead, grab a box, a diamond box, as you all seen before. Say, so go ahead, grab a diamond box if you need it. And I was like, oh, like, all right, thanks. I'm trying to see if I can keep it in control and not do that much where I need to get a diamond box. So I just like, oh, after I was done, I got my bag. So there's everything. Bunch of newer issue stuff, or newer, newer issues, some recent issues, and then uh, hit the dollar section as well. Pick up a nice little run of back issues. So that'd be fun to show off. So yeah, here's everything I picked up from the shop on this happy, glorious, happy new comic book day. It's cold outside, it's snowing. We just got hit hard with snow last night. And yeah, but I was like, you know what? I'm on Christmas break, I want to go out and uh, hit the shop. So pick up some cool stuff. So head back to the crib and then you all get to see everything I picked up. And we're back at the X Mansion. For a very nice day of comic shopping. So again, happy new comic day, back at the crib, time to show off everything I picked up today. So as I said, there was, I picked up a bunch of new issues, some bunch of new and recent issues, as well as some back issues. But after I recorded that last segment, which I just did after I got back in the whip, I stopped at uh, BAM, because I remember there's a Books A Million location near where I was at. So I was like, oh, you know what? This is a perfect time. Let me go down there. I don't come down here that often. So let me stop down here, finally go here, because I always see it and I never remember about it until I'm leaving town again. I was like, eh, I don't stop. But today I was like, all right, I'm going there. So I managed to pick up a couple of things, picked up a couple of pops, which I'll show off in a later video, and managed to find some cool back issues, which were some uh, pretty couple, I don't say surprising, but pretty cool finds, whatever. So what I'm in, what I'm gonna do is Keep those and the back issues, the older back issues that I picked up from the shop, those are gonna go separate. And today, or right now, all you're gonna see, or what you're gonna see is all the new stuff. So, got those all separated. Boom, see those later. First up, we have, so worry about it, you know, I like this stuff. So here is uh, 2020, 2021 calendar, Fantastic Four. I always love these little promo calendars. So we got the next ones out. We got Fantastic Four. So I guess they're gonna be, I don't know why Fantastic Four, but I guess they're gonna be primed for a big year. So a lot of cool classic covers here. Superb action and 
yeah, so it was cool. So Fantastic Four, got some other previews in there, all that cool stuff. So uh, look out for that at your LCSs. Now, here's everything we got today. Uh, again, so let's flip those over. Oh my gosh, these are, some of these are kind of all, uh, actually wait, most of these are. This. All right, there we go. So I'm trying out, or I jumped into King and Black, figured, you know what, I was already interested in some of the tie-ins that I talked about, like who's uh, Black Knight, who also has, is gonna have a mini series after that. Valkyries, Return of Valkyries, and the Gwynnum vs. Carnage. So I said, you know what, since I'm gonna be reading some of these tie-ins anyway, let me just jump right into the main series. So that's what I, I picked up some of those today. So, all right, let's start over, where is, let's start with these two, because I just read this trade yesterday and I finished it, or wait, no, yeah, it was yesterday. Uh, Philadelphia, Volume 1 from Image Comics and absolutely dug it. And I was thinking, you know what? I had to get, so I ordered issue number one and two from mycomicshop.com. One came back in stock. And uh, so, all right, so that's when, that was on my short list of things to get from the shop today. I was like, all right, let me get some Philadelphia issues, see how many they have. So we got issue four. And I like this one here. Issue, uh, I was gonna say five. Issue 10. So four and 10, I have one and two coming. And then it's four and 10. And I'm going to another shop for, well, I'll talk about that later. <laughs> uh, but I will be able, hopefully I'll be able to pick up a few more from another shop, so we'll see. Next up we have, this one I guess is apparently hot for some reason, it's been selling, but I, like this shop had plenty of them, so I don't know what the hell is going on with it. But here is Amazing Spider-Man, Last Remains, number 55, this awesome black and white, Pat Gleason cover, webbing everywhere, I just love, like the coloring of it and just, this is a fantastic cover. And yeah, so uh, shout out to Pat Gleason for being awesome. And over to Boom Studios, got a couple titles from them. Here's one I missed. I was already, I had pre-ordered one and I missed two somehow. And I have three and four. So I, I had three and four pre-ordered, but I missed two, I don't know how. But so I was like, all right, that's on my short list of recent books I need to pick up. Origins number two. So that's just something I do. I talked about the list that I keep in my the Notepad app, Inkpad, Inkpad Notepad app, whatever, and I keep all the new releases. And I like put a special indicator for books that I already have pre-ordered. And then a, uh, one, I look like I list all the books that I have pre-ordered, or all the books that I'm interested in. And I make a notification or put a mark next to all the books that I already have pre-ordered. So if I go to a shop anytime after. I don't pick up a double and I don't have to look far. I can go right there, consult that. And what I also do is I have other books I'm interested in. I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm interested in that. So I'll list them there. And then for some other ones, I'll put at the top, like, oh, right, you know what? I need to add this because I missed it. So I want to make a big indicator, like, boom, Gina, go pick this book up. So Origins, boom, got it. Now this one was cool. I just saw this one and I figured, you know what? It just looks dope. And I haven't even read the other two books from this that I picked up on local comic shop day, but here is this variant for Power, I think it's Power Rangers, number one. I just thought I was like, you know what? That just looks cool. And you got the Ranger Slayer right there. So just a shit ton of Rangers. It did have a little bit of a ding. I can't tell if that was in a bag. I have to pull it out. Actually, you know what? That might not even be in, in the book. I think it's in a bag. If that is, that's even better. <gasps> I think so. I can't tell. <laughs> oh, that's even better. Oh wait, I think there is a little, I can't, it's hard to say. It does feel like a little thing there. Oh well, it still looks great, so I'm not to worry about it. I'm not getting great or anything. And then here is a couple issues from uh, some extra source tie-in. This is the only book that I haven't been reading. I'm reading, like I'm pulling every other book from this event except this series. But I was like, you know what? So I'm gonna just go all in. It's only one other book anyway. A few other issues, I'll grab them. And what I did, I started with, uh, so it's Cable, but I wanted Cable number three. Cable, it's 3D actually, the Days of Future Past variant. It has Mystique and the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. And I said, I want that cover. I thought I remember seeing it before, but I don't know. Maybe I saw it online and just kind of put it out on mine. But I, I was like, all right, you know what? I want all those. I don't want all of them because they don't all look as cool. But that one, 
and another one. I was like, I want those for sure. If I get the rest, then like I'll decide later on. But I wanted that one. So I'm like, all right, but the extra swords, tie-ins don't start till, or parts of uh, that book or that storyline don't start till issue five. So I was like, all right, I have three. I'm not, and I'm gonna read that obviously. Even though I really just wanted for the cover, I'm still gonna read it. And I'm getting five and the other remaining issues for extra swords. So I want to do three, skip four, and then do five. So it's like, you know what, let me just get four and do that anyway. And then, because I'm only gonna miss the other two issues, I might end up picking up one and two at some point. We'll see how that goes. But there's five. Uh, next, the start of that. This was, has, I haven't seen this on mycommonshop.com since I started checking for this, but they happen to have it, so it was great. And then here is issue six. So I got those. Yeah, uh, and then jump over to Champions, Champions, uh, and then the Outlaw storyline here is Champions 3. I have one uh, from the, the Walmart variant, but I, actually they had number one. I meant to go back and get the standard cover for number one, but I forgot. I was debating, like, do I want it? Like, do I really want it? I don't know, I should've just got it because I had it. But here's another issue that I was missing. That I missed. I still don't understand how I missed this one, but uh, in this winter tie-in, there's Justice League 58. This is a standard cover. I was kind of debating. I think I showed this in the video. I was kind of debating like which cover I wanted to go with because they both look cool. This Endless Winter Part Five, when the hall freezes over, but they just both look kind of cool. But I like this one, so I mean, I like both obviously, but I know I just kind of went with that one. Basically, just kind of mental, mental coin flip, and just kind of go with it. And then over to Vault because turns out. I'm gonna do a new, a new comic haul. I'm gonna have some Vault comics in there because they're fantastic. So here is I Walk With Monsters, number two. It's kind of, or just a horror title, part of their Nightfall. Is it Nightfall? Yep. So Nightfall, it's kind of their, I don't wanna say, it's not a horror, it's not an imprint. It's just kind of a, similar to like Black Label, just like a, like this line of books, I guess you could call it. It's hard to say, but deals with mostly their a lot of their horror books so uh yeah again just shout out to them for just continuously pumping out good stuff so and here we go then says the king and black stuff because i already talked about that one so i got pretty much i'm all <laughs> pretty much all in with king and black so i got some of the main stuff well you'll see only i missed the only thing i didn't do was king and black namor because when i was reading about it it kind of had like the description sounded weird and it made it 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 just sounded kind of funky it's kind of off-putting but I may have to read it again. Maybe I interpreted something wrong. I'm not sure. If anybody's reading King and Black Namor, like let me know what you think of it. Spoiler free. But just kind of like let me know your thoughts about that. Cause I may still end up picking up. We'll see. So here is the variant for King and Black Iron Man Doctor Doom. Uh I'm, there's a couple covers. That's like this one the best. And is it? it does look almost like his bleeding edge armor. But I think it might just be his current armor, which is kind of a modern with a uh classic kind of look fused together so but yeah iron man doom and then this one i you saw this one i had to get this one it was the last copy they had and i don't remember seeing this at all and it just looks i don't even know who did it but it just looks fucking phenomenal so here is uh black adam in this winter special number one the van here look at this gym seriously this thing is dope. When I saw it, I just said, yes, I need that. It's Black Adam. Plus, I like Black Adam. But I, so I had to go through my, my common shop pre-orders. Like, wait, I got all this other win endless winter stuff. Justice League, Superman, and I think that was it. But, and the two, yeah, the two Justice League endless winter books. And then the Superman special. So I was like, why did I skip Black Adam? And I was like, I don't know. I don't either just wasn't, I was like, all right, maybe I'm not gonna be all in on it, but I like Black Adam, so I feel like I would have. I know the Superman one I wanted because I like the cover, because that one was dope as well as this one. So yeah, uh, Black Adam and this winter special number one. So here we get to uh, the main books for King and Black. And here is number one. This is the, ah, I forgot who did this one. I remember I was looking at them online and there's four covers for number one that I want. And I was about to order all four of them. I was gonna get the very fine versions on the very fine editions from mycommonshop.com, 
because like I didn't feel the need to pay like the full six bucks for the near man copies for four books like four copies of the same damn book so I was like all right you know what but then I was like oh if I'm getting number two which dropped so here's variant for, here's variant for number two I was thinking I'll get number one I get one of the copies of number one from them so I can read it and then because my mycomicshop.com order won't come in for it will ship next week, so I won't get that for two weeks. So, and then I will still debate. One of the copies that I wanted, one of the covers, did go out of stock, so I should have ordered it sooner. But here's one of them. The other one is a Peach Momoko one, and then the Neil Francis Hugh. And the th last one was the, what is it? I guess it's like the tattoo cover or something they call it. It's the white one with the skulls and the sores, something like that. Or whatever. Oh, and look at this. We got another copy, because I wanted two of them. Actually, I think I got three because I have one pre-order, but I had a couple copies of this. So, yeah, maybe Spider-Man, Pat Gleason. Oh, here's another book. This came out two, I feel like two weeks ago uh, from AWA, which is Artists, Writers, and Artisans, Inc. And Upshot, I don't even know what the Upshot Studios part is, but here is Erratic, number one, one of five. This one looks cool. And... Uh, Carl Andrews and Brian Reber. Carl Andrews is a fantastic creator. I, when he writes and draws, he does like his own books a lot of times, so, or at least the majority of like writing and most of the art duties on a lot of books. Not a lot, but several books. So he's a fantastic creator and just heard about this one. And this is the same publisher that did or that is doing American Ronin, which is another indie book that I'm loving right now. So I was like, oh, this looks cool. And then let's see some more Symbiote Spider or some more King of Black. Here is Symbiote Spider Man number one. King in Black Symbiote Spider Man. And got Kang, bum ass, and a bum ass Rocket Raccoon, The Watcher, and Black Knight. Yes, that's right. And then here is King in Black Symbiote Spider Man number two with uh, Black Knight making another appearance on the cover. It's coming in big. A couple appearances to wrap up 2020. And then 2021, got his King of Black one shot. And then he jumps into a mini series. Dane Whitman is back, people. What, uh, what a time to be alive. All right. Now, last up is another book that I've been looking for for actually not that long. But finally found it. And they probably had it for a while, too. And I just, like the section where they had it, I didn't think to look for it. Or when I was looking through them, I just never thought about it the last time I was there. But here's Fantastic Four, number 11. This is actually the, I guess you would call it like the secret bloody variant or whatever you want to call it. Cause you can see the blood on the logo there. So I was like, oh, and I was looking, when I picked it up, pulled it out. I was like, all right, let me double check my comic shop.com to see the covers. So, oh yeah, it was number 11 that I was missing. And I was like, they had two listed. I was like, what the hell is the difference between these two? So I'm like flipping between both images of the covers like look at the first one he said and then i realized it was the the red there like that blood kind of spattered across uh i guess it's is that like the null one yeah it is and like that kind of absolute yeah the absolute carnage or whatever little kind of symbol in there no some whatever i don't know who cares but yeah so a fantastic day at the shop new comic day doing a day doing it in style Got some cool stuff here, some cool books. Again, Philadelphia is so good. Uh, volume, I just read that trade again. Six, the first six issues, and I think they're up to 11. I feel like 11 just dropped. So uh, I will be, so I'm missing Stony Champions number two. If I don't find that at a shop this upcoming weekend, I'm gonna end up ordering that one. And I just wanna show this off again because it just looks dope. But yeah. So this is it for the last, actually, yeah, this is the last new comic book day of 2020. 2020 is coming to a close, people. It's over. One more day. And again, you'll see the rest of my back issues in a separate video. Well, technically next year, but really probably just Friday. Uh, so yeah, uh, new comic book day. Well, a bunch of goodies, good stuff, some good, some good reading ahead of me as always. Let me know what you picked up this week. If you've got your books yet, if you haven't, what are you looking forward to? So you got King in Black, Endless Winter, what are you reading? What are you looking forward to? A lot of stuff. And then in January, which is a couple days away, we have Future State begins for DC. So everything is gonna go on hold for two months, or most for the majority. I think Far Sector still be going. And then whatever, I don't know what they got going for Black Label and whatever else for Young Animals. 
So we'll kind of see. I just I just know far sector, but lots lots of dope stuff out there. So let me know what you're reading, what you're looking forward to, all that good stuff. Drop me in the comments below. Happy reading, happy hunting, happy collecting. This is Gino Dragon. Thanks for watching and peace out.